Hey there, I'm Zoe. Before I dive into this crazy story about family drama and sweet, sweet revenge, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button, all right? Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this wild ride. So picture this. Me, 28. Killing it in the marketing world. Corner office, fancy title, the whole nine yards. But let me tell you, success doesn't mean squat when your personal life's a dumpster fire. Six months ago, I caught my ex, Ryan, with his tongue down some blonde's throat. Real classy, right? But hey, that's ancient history now. At least, that's what I keep telling myself. Thank God for Emma, my little sis. She's been my rock through all this mess. Zoe, you're too good for that jerk anyway, Emma said, passing me another glass of wine after the breakup. He'll realize what he lost when you're living your best life without him. And then there's Jasmine, my ride or die at work and in life. She's been on Team Zoe since day one. Girl, we are going out tonight, Jasmine declared one Friday. Time to show this city what they're missing. Between Emma and Jasmine, I was starting to feel human again, just in time for the annual Walker family reunion. Picture 30-plus loud, nosy relatives crammed into a lakeside resort for a weekend. Sounds like a nightmare, right? But honestly, I couldn't wait. You sure you're up for it? Mom asked when I called to confirm. Was it just me, or did she sound... nervous? Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Why, is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine, she said quickly, too quickly. We're just... finalizing some details. I brushed it off. Parents always worrying, right? But then Dad called, asking weird questions about my dating situation. Like, out of nowhere. You're not, uh, seeing anyone new, are you, sweetie? Dad, you know I'm not. What's this about? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just curious. See you at the reunion? Okay, something was definitely up. But hey, maybe they were trying to set me up with someone. Wouldn't put it past them. Finally, reunion weekend rolled around. I packed my bags, feeling lighter than I had in months. A weekend away from the city, surrounded by family. No cell service to tempt me into drunk texting Ryan. Perfect. As I pulled up to the resort, I couldn't help but smile. The lake was gorgeous, sparkling in the afternoon sun. I could smell someone grilling burgers, hear kids laughing. This was exactly what I needed. I grabbed my bags and headed for the main lodge, ready to kick off the weekend. Little did I know... I was walking straight into an ambush. So there I was, feeling all warm and fuzzy, hugging aunts and uncles I hadn't seen in ages. Cousin Billy was showing off his new tattoo. Aunt Marge was already three mimosas deep, typical Walker family chaos. That's when I saw him. Ryan. Standing there, chatting with my parents like he belonged. What the actual fuck? I muttered, frozen in place. Ryan spotted me, flashing that stupid grin. Zoe, there you are. I stormed over to my parents, blood boiling. Mom, Dad, what is he doing here? They exchanged guilty looks. Dad cleared his throat. Now, Zoe, don't make a scene. We thought it would be nice to invite Ryan. He's practically family. Practically family? He cheated on me. How could you do this? Mom patted my arm. Sweetie, everyone deserves a second chance. Besides, Ryan's been so helpful, offering to sponsor the reunion this year. My jaw dropped. Sponsor? What are you talking about? That's when they dropped the real bomb. Well, with the resort being so expensive, Ryan offered to chip in. He's even sharing our room to cut costs. I felt like I was in the twilight zone. You're sharing a room with my cheating ex? Have you lost your minds? I bolted, needing to find Emma and Jasmine ASAP. Thank God they were both here. You guys are not going to believe this shit, I said, pulling them aside. Jasmine's eyes widened as I spilled the tea. Oh, hell no. They did not invite that snake. Emma looked ready to throw hands. Want me to push him in the lake? Because I will. As we were plotting Ryan's demise, I overheard him talking to Uncle Bob. Investment opportunity of a lifetime. I'm telling you, Bob, with your capital and my connections, we could double your money in six months. Something in Ryan's tone made my skin crawl. It was the same smooth-talking BS he'd used on me. I turned to Emma and Jasmine. You hear that? He's up to something. I bet he's scamming the whole family. Jasmine nodded. Wouldn't put it past him. Remember how he always talked about get-rich-quick schemes? Emma cracked her knuckles. Okay, new plan. We're taking this asshole down. But as I watched Ryan work the room, charming everyone with his lies, I felt sick. This was supposed to be a fun family weekend, and now it was ruined. Worst of all, 
My own parents had chosen Ryan over me. As the sun set over the lake, I'd never felt more alone. Little did I know, this was just the beginning. Ryan thought he was playing the Walker family. Game on, buddy. You have no idea who you're messing with. Emma, Jasmine, and I huddled in my room. Operation Take Down Ryan, in full swing. Okay, what do we know? Jasmine asked, notepad ready. I ticked off on my fingers. He's sponsoring the reunion, trying to invest with Uncle Bob, and has my parents wrapped around his finger. Emma frowned. But how? Last I heard, he was broke and jobless. That's when it hit me. He's lying. He must be. But we need proof. We split up, gathering intel. Emma chatted up the cousins. Jasmine smooth-talked the aunts and uncles. And I cornered Dad. So, Dad, what exactly does Ryan do now? Must be doing well to sponsor the reunion. Dad beamed. Oh, he's a big-shot investment banker now, making six figures, he says. Bingo. I knew for a fact Ryan couldn't tell a stock from a sock. We reconvened, piecing together Ryan's web of lies. That's when Uncle Frank, the family P.I., overheard us. You girls need some help digging up dirt? He winked. With Uncle Frank's resources, we hit the mother load. Ryan wasn't just a liar. He was a full-on con artist. Look at this, Uncle Frank pointed at his laptop. He's pulled this stunt with three other families, worms his way in, convinces them to invest in bogus schemes, then vanishes with the cash. My blood boiled. We have to stop him. But how? Jasmine's eyes lit up. The talent show. Everyone always does silly acts, right? What if we turn it into an expose? We stayed up all night, planning our grand reveal. By morning, we had a killer presentation ready. But first, I needed to confront Ryan. Catch him off guard, see if he'd slip up. I cornered him by the lake. I know what you're up to, Ryan. The lies, the scams, all of it. He didn't even flinch. Ah, Zoe. Still bitter about our breakup? I thought we were past that. Cut the crap. I've got proof. You're going down. Ryan's eyes hardened. Proof? Please. It's your word against mine. Who do you think they'll believe? The bitter ex-girlfriend or the generous guy who's been nothing but helpful? He leaned in, voice low. Be smart, Zoe. Keep your mouth shut, and maybe I'll cut you in on the profits. I wanted to deck him right there, but I held back. The talent show was in an hour. Soon, everyone would know the truth. As Ryan sauntered away, confident he'd won, I couldn't help but smile. He had no idea what was coming. Payback was going to be a bitch, and her name was Zoe. The talent show kicked off with the usual Walker family chaos. Aunt Marge's tone-deaf karaoke, Cousin Billy's awful magic tricks. Then it was my turn. For my talent, I'd like to share a little story, I said, queuing up the slideshow. It's about trust, family, and the dangers of investment fraud. Ryan's head snapped up, eyes narrowing. The presentation started innocently enough. Family photos, cheesy quotes about trust. Then, bam, a shot of Ryan with another family. Same slick smile. This is the Johnson family. They lost their life savings to a charming investment banker. Sound familiar? Murmurs rippled through the crowd. Ryan stood up, all fake concern. Zoe, what are you doing? This is inappropriate. I cut him off. Oh, I'm just getting started, Ryan. Or should I say Robert? Richard. You've got so many names, it's hard to keep track. More slides. More families. More scams. With each revelation, Ryan's face got paler. This is ridiculous, he sputtered. These are business associates, not... Uncle Frank stood up. Save it, kid. I've got signed statements from all these families. You're done. Mom and Dad looked shell-shocked. Zoe, is this true? Mom asked. I nodded. I'm sorry, but Ryan's been playing us all. The room erupted. Ryan made a break for the door. But guess who was waiting outside? The Johnsons, the Smiths, and every other family he'd screwed over. Going somewhere, Ryan, Mr. Johnson growled. Ryan bolted for his car, but karma wasn't done with him yet. The engine sputtered, died, and wouldn't start. As the police sirens wailed in the distance, my family rallied around me. Dad hugged me tight. I'm so sorry, sweetie. We should have trusted you. Mom was in tears. Can you ever forgive us? I looked at them, then at Emma and Jasmine, who were grinning like proud parents. Of course I forgive you. We're family. We stick together. The rest of the reunion was a blast. No more secrets, no more lies. Just pure, chaotic Walker family love. A week later, I got a call from Uncle Frank. Thought you'd want to know, kiddo. 
Ryan's facing multiple fraud charges. He's going away for a long time. I couldn't help but smile. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. As I hung up, I felt lighter than I had in months. Ryan was out of our lives for good, and my family was stronger than ever. Sometimes, you gotta go through hell to get to heaven. But let me tell you, taking down a lying, cheating scumbag with your family by your side, that's about as close to heaven as it gets. And that's a wrap on Zoe's wild family reunion adventure. Now let me hit you with this. Was Zoe right to expose Ryan so publicly, or should she have handled it privately? Is there ever a situation where you'd invite your child's ex to a family event without their knowledge? How far would you go to protect your family from a scammer? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to hear where you stand on this family drama. If this tale of revenge and family loyalty got your blood pumping, smash that like button and subscribe for more stories of sweet, sweet karma. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.